Hi, Shanny Fannies. Welcome to Educating Shanny. I'm Shanny and I'm recovering from an eating disorder. Hi, Shanny. Hi. Okay, so as you can tell from the title of this video, I wanted to talk to you about a tradition that we did. I think we did it two years. <laughs> maybe only one, but I didn't keep up on it. I'm pretty sure I didn't do it last year or maybe the year before. I don't remember. But I'm talking about hashtag no November. Um, so I wanted to talk to you about that. I wanted to make a couple other little announcements and then I also wanted to answer some of your questions. So if any of that interests you, stick around. If you're new around here, welcome. I'm Shani. Subscribe. Become an official Shani Fanny. Be become a part of a huge family out there of mentally ill people that support each other and try to make it easier to talk about what we're going through. So subscribe, even if you don't have a mental illness, if there's anything other hard you're going through, or if you just wanna watch a girl be really weird and sing about poop and be inappropriate 24 seven, then subscribe, so welcome. Okay, so no November is what I start. I think I started my first year of YouTube, like my first November, maybe the second one, I don't know. But what I did was I wanted to do like a no November, no something November. It's something that I wanted to cut out for the whole month of November. My glasses are like um, dirty. Um, and then I asked you guys what you wanted to do. So like for example, I tried to do no purge November. No purge November was my hashtag or no starve or um, no self harm November. A lot of you guys did that stuff too and a lot of you did like no smoking November and no, I don't know, um, hurting yourself, I don't know, whatever. Whatever it is that you know you need to stop doing that's not good for you, that's making your health and your body bad, then that could be your answer, but you get to decide. So for me personally, I will be doing the no purge November. That's my biggest problem, it always has been. Um, I feel like I might be able to do this pretty well considering my track record lately. Lately, I've averaged once a week, maybe. So I feel like it's doable, but it will be hard, but I'm gonna try my best to do it starting November 1st. Um, and then also, my other no November is the other thing I wanted to talk to you about, which is I've already informed a lot of the Insta fam, but a lot of them weren't there tonight on the Instagram Live, is that I also would like to do no Instagram live streams in November. Um, I. Oh no, I'm gonna cry. Why am I gonna cry? Rude. Uh, Cause this is gonna be really hard for me cause I love you guys so much. Um, but I mean, don't worry. You're gonna see me on here every day. You'll see me. I just won't be able to interact with you every day on Instagram if you came from there. Um, but yeah, I just have been feeling really run down and really um, struggling myself with some things and it's just getting a little bit overwhelming and I can't focus on my marriage or myself or my YouTube channel or anything because um, I put everything that I every energy that I, every piece of energy that I have goes into the Insta fam and lately I've been trying to get back into YouTube and I'm but I want to work hard on it like I, I want to look hard I want to work harder on it I was watching some old videos and I was like oh, I want to work that hard again like how did I have the time to do that and then I was like well you do spend you know your only a couple hours of energy on Instagram every night which has been wonderful but I think because I am suck and can't do a lot at once it's hard for me to do both so my plan is to not go live at all on Instagram I'll still be active on there I'll still make posts and stuff but no lives and instead of going live for an hour or two lately every single night on Instagram I'm gonna take that time just like I used to this is what I used to do when I started YouTube and focus on YouTube make a video film it write it edit it, upload it, whatever YouTube needs that day, that's where I'm gonna focus this energy instead of going live, just for the month of November. And we're gonna see how it helps and maybe it'll help grow my channel because, oh, announcement, um, as soon as my channel hits 100,000 subscribers, I'm giving away an iPad. You heard me correctly. Rectal, that sounds like rectally. You heard me rectally too. See, inappropriate. Anyway, um, so yeah, so I just wanna focus on YouTube. I feel sad about it because YouTube is dying, not just my channel, a lot of people, like YouTube is just dying and I don't want it to be that way and I don't wanna be one of those people that just gives into it and lets it die. I just, I have a feeling if I stick with it and work harder on it, then maybe my channel will start to benefit and maybe I'll get big enough that I do have a voice someday that I can stand up for the things that are bothering me about YouTube. I'm still gonna try and do it, but I'm saying I probably won't be heard um, on my little tiny platform here, so, but I'm still gonna do it. I still think it's unfair. 
what they're doing to families and kids, but we'll see how it all plays out in January and we'll just take it day by day, step by step, as far as my channel and wh what it will be. Uh, so far, I want it to be the same that it's always been. In fact, except I want to start doing what I used to do when I started YouTube, which was I would do like different types of video, uh, do fun ones, I would, I would do serious ones, I would do topic ones, I would do vlogs, I would all kinds of stuff and I kind of want to start doing that variety. I feel like that's actually what helped my channel grow. But I also want to incorporate what's popular now on YouTube, which is like sort of like a show, like you're basically giving someone a TV show to watch, you know, like it's a lot more, people are filming a lot more and, and making their their videos or their episodes much, much longer. Um, and it's just kind of becoming like, like a reality TV series a lot. So I also just, I feel like I already do that anyway, so it's fine, I feel like all YouTubers do, but for me, um, it'll be interesting to try and incorporate what I talk about and what I think about into this whatever's gonna work for the YouTube platform. So anyway, so there's that. No Instagram lives on November. I'm gonna focus on this channel, trying to get it back to where it was, and most importantly, focusing on myself and getting myself back to where I was, where I felt motivated to do better things on YouTube and to work harder for it. I really wanna focus on that, and this is gonna be so effing hard for me because I love the Instafam so much. I love you all so much. This is gonna be really hard for me to stay away from the lives, but I know I need to do this for many reasons. Um, okay, so the other thing, I, I don't know if I already said this, but Danny's going out of town again for two weeks for a job in November, but I think I'm gonna go with him this time because he will be working near my sister where my sister lives, so it might be a fun time to go down there and visit her and go with him and considering I'm not going to be doing the live streams, I could focus more on like fun vlogs and, and hard vlogs and whatever it is I'm going through that day, you know? So that's another reason I want to know about Vlogmas. Did I already ask you guys this? I don't, I have the worst memory, but Vlogmas usually starts December 1st for people. Um, I'm considering starting it November 1st. So tell me in the comments below if you think I should. Um, Vlogmas, for those of you that don't know, is just vlogging every single day. Um, and it's yeah vlogs are you know getting out and doing things or just like following you around in my case it's probably gonna be a lot of sitting but also try and vlog whatever I do do that day that is of entertainment or value at all we'll see um but anyway I'm wondering I think I might start it November 1st maybe a week into November I'll start it and then I do want your opinion though that if I am to start it that early do you think I should also put up my Christmas stuff that early um, I never know what to do each year it's always different sometimes I do it early sometimes I do it later I just I love Christmas and I want to celebrate it for as long as I can and yes I'm totally one of those people November 1st starts the Christmas season for me it's no offense to Thanksgiving Thanksgiving for me and my family is part of Christmas season it's just the holiday season and they're both about the same things giving and sharing and loving and so I just like Thanksgiving is a part for me of the Christmas season like it all goes together for me but if you don't like that that's okay you don't have to decorate your house and um, if you don't want to see my decorations till December then don't watch my videos till December <laughs> but I like it so I'm just deciding if I should decorate November 1st or wait for a couple weeks into November I don't know give me your thoughts do any of you guys have any thoughts I don't know let me know also I just made I think my favorite painting I've ever done so far. I'm very excited about it. I won't be selling this one because I used the shells that Danny brought me all the way from Fiji, so they're really special, so I'm not gonna ever sell this one probably, but it's really cool. Are you kidding? Look how cool that swipe turned out, dude. So that's another thing. I would love to start like showing you guys how I do this. I know a lot of you are interested in, and have been begging me to show you how to do this. Um, I just haven't really figured out how to film it yet, um, but I'm gonna ask Paul if he has some time to come over and see if we can get a setup that will be easy for me to film it on so that I will do it, you know what I mean? But I just, I love painting. I've been painting every day and it's just been my self-care lately and, and my time to just 
relax and just zone out into the paint. I love color. I love looking at color. So adding color to things is just so fun for me. Um, anyway, yeah. So, okay. So let me go and answer some of your questions and real quick, and then I'll let you go. If you don't want to stick around for the Q and A, you don't have to. Um, okay. Looks like we have six questions right now. I just barely asked for it, so. Okay, um, why did you choose to have birds as pets? Do you see yourself owning any other pets in the future? Love you. I love you too, Sadessa, Sadisa, or Sadessa. I don't know how to say that. Um, I love you too. We did birds specifically because I'm allergic to cats and dogs. I love cats and we someday, well, Danny wants, Danny's a dog person, I'm a cat person. Someday if we could figure out we, we don't own this house, so we can't have pets here, but someday if we did own a house, then we would get a dog and a cat that were not allergenic. So the Russian gray cats are not, the, the furless cats are not, they're not my jam, but it's fine. I think they're adorable, just not my thing. Like I, I want something fluffy to cuddle, cuddle, that's the point. And Danny would want a dog, dog, so we could look into that in the future, but it's not looking like we'll do that. So we chose birds. I believe because of that, I think we were just at PetSmart. How did this even happen? I don't remember, it was so long ago when I got Buddy. I think I just, maybe I saw it online somewhere and I wanted one, I don't know. But immediately, I became a bird mama, and I always will be. I love my birds so much, they're amazing. What is your secret talent? And do you like alpacas? Well, I've never met an alpaca. Not totally sure what that is. I think it's a camel type thing. Um, I'm sure they're great. I don't really have a strong opinion on alpacas, but I'll let you know if that comes up. And um, what's my secret talent? That's a hard one. I'm gonna come back to that one. Um, what is your favorite song of the moment and why? My favorite song at the moment is um, um, what's it called? Oh my gosh. Burning through the sky. Two hundred degrees, that's why they call me Mr. Fahrenheit. I'm traveling at the speed of light. I want to make a supersonic man out of you. Don't stop me now. Having such a good time. Having a ball. Don't stop me now. If you want to have a good time, just give you a call. Don't stop me because I'm having a good time. Don't stop me because I'm having a good time. Don't want to stop at all. Don't Stop Me Now by Queen and pretty much anything by Queen, to be honest. I also lo really love Killer Queen. I think that song is way underrated. I think it's brilliant and I love it, so. Okay, advice for someone who constantly struggles with binging and sometimes purging, and then when trying to stop binging, it turns into a restrictive diet, love you. I'm not the expert on this because I had that same problem. When I stop binging, my first thought is, okay, but if you're not gonna binge, then you have to starve yourself all day. This is something I didn't start breaking through until just a couple weeks ago. Um, but for me, it's been, it's, this is gonna sound horrible, but for me, I've been like dying. <laughs> like my body is telling me, you cannot purge today or you're gonna die. So there have been times where I just don't have a choice, but then on the days that I have a choice, whether or not to purge, um, I usually choose not to because I'm motivated to not be swollen. And I talked about this in my last video, go check it out, I'll explain. I've been very self-conscious about it and really frustrated. So go and check that out. So I'm not really the best person to ask, but I would just say in the last couple of weeks, it's been important for me to focus on not passing out and not having that feeling like I'm going to die soon because my body is very sick already. And I just, 
I just know that I can't be doing it right now. So I don't know. That's all I know, but that probably doesn't help you. I don't know. I'm so sorry. Someone answer in the in the comments if anybody has a good answer. Um, you wake up and you're back in high school. What are some of the first things you do? I go to the choir room and I watch musicals and then I go home and I avoid people. I just hang out in the choir room and hide in the choir room because that's all I did in high school. Or I just didn't go. Uh, if you could live anywhere in the world for free, where would you live? This is cheesy, but I would live here in Utah. It's my favorite. However, if it's not, the answer is not Utah, Utah it would be Hawaii. I've never been to Hawaii, but I have a feeling I would adore it, so that could be cool. Okay, is that the last one? And that's it. All right, well, thank you for watching this, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm hoping I'll feel better tomorrow that I can edit these uh, videos that I want to get up so that I can do Vlogmas. So, yeah. Again, let me know what you think of all that, and I love you guys. Hang in there. I know a lot of you are struggling. Please continue to pray for Beth. She is a trooper, and she is... Um, she's got a wonderful, beautiful family and we love her so much. Beth, if you happen to, I don't think you're going to watch these anymore, but if you happen to be, we love you so much. We're all rooting for you. We're all praying for you. And we're just so sorry that you have to be in so much pain right now. So keep her in your prayers, please. Um, for those of you that don't know, Beth is a member of our community and she's an absolute angel and she has cancer that she's fighting and. Um, she recently decided to not fight anymore and go off chemo. And so now it's kind of just pain management until, you know, she passes. So keep her in your prayers, keep her in her family in your prayers. And I'm sorry to any of you out there that are being affected by this. All of us in the community love her so much and have been touched by her in different ways and similar ways. And we just, we just love the crap out of her. And this is really difficult for us and so I can't imagine how hard it is for her family so my thoughts and prayers go out to them and I love you guys and I will see you tomorrow for another video and remember forever and always that you're beautiful you are worth it and I am too thank you for watching bye love you guys